What questions do you ask when applying for a work camper job? Hi, I'm Steve Turtle and I'm a work camper. This is a channel about Jill and me, our adventures, travels, and a whole lot of work camper stuff. If you're a work camper or you're dreaming to become a work camper, you should subscribe. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You won't miss one. Last week, we talked about our new work camper job here at Millbridge Village Camp Resort and the first part of our merchandise sayings contest. Now, if you missed last week's story and you'd like to see it, I'll leave a link right up there. This week, we're talking about the questions you should ask when applying for a work camper job and the winner of the merchandise contest. First, let's talk about the merchandise contest. Last week, everybody voted for the best saying out of the top five submitted. And this week, we're gonna announce the winner. And the winner is, by majority vote, Bob Overdrive. And his saying was, a, a lot of play, a little pay, free stay, hooray! <laughs> and this is how the rest of the sayings finished in the uh, top five. Uh, McMillan Express. You work camp here, you work camp there, you can work camp anywhere. And Throckmorton. Don't rush me, I'm work camping. Frank Mitson. Camping isn't all rainbows, gumdrops, and sunshine. And last but not least, Bruce McWilliams. Work campers are happy workers. So Bob, congratulations. Now send me, send me an email and tell me your shirt size, size you want your t-shirt to be. And also send me an address where you want me to ship your free t-shirt and $20 Walmart card. Thanks so much for everybody that participated in the contest. I really appreciate it. And uh, now we got a saying, we got a merchandise and we just gotta, we gotta get all that printed up and get it out there so that you can buy it. Cause that was the whole purpose of this thing is something that you could buy and wear. Okay, let's talk a little bit about work camping. What questions should you ask before accepting a work camper job? Last week, we talked about our new work camper job. This week, I wanna talk about how we got the new work camper job. Some of the questions that we ask, this is how it all unfolded. This year, Jill and I wanted to spend a little time in Pennsylvania, visit friends and family, and secure a work camper job, making a little bit of money and maybe a site that's free. So we laid out our map and drew a big circle around the area that we wanted to go to. Started sending out resumes and emails and cover letters and pictures to all the campgrounds that were within the circle. And that's just the start. Then we started looking at all our favorite websites for jobs, trying to find that perfect job. The whole time, we were sending out resumes and pictures of all the jobs that we thought were good jobs. Then we waited for a reply. We received several emails asking if we were interested, but most did not meet our needs. It's tough. You don't want to turn down jobs, but then again, you don't want to accept jobs if they're not right for you. If you accept one and then that perfect job comes along, now you have a dilemma. So then what? Do you do the right thing and honor the first choice? Or do you come up with some lame story and take the second choice? We don't accept the first job unless it's the perfect job, but we tell them we're interested in their opportunity, but we're still looking for something else. That way you don't accept, but you don't close the door and say that you're just not interested at all. Then that way, if something doesn't work out, there's the possibility that you can come back to your first opportunity. Then one day we were checking out Work Camper News hotline jobs. And all of a sudden we looked down and it was the perfect job. We read the description and it seemed like it was just the right job for us. It was what we were looking for and it was in the right location, the perfect job. The job was at Millbridge Village Camp Resort, Bronx, Pennsylvania. We immediately turned around and sent an email 
with our resume and pictures, stating that we were interested in the position. Then more waiting. <laughs> then one day we were checking our emails and there it was. An email from Millbridge Village Camp Resort. The perfect job. The email said, hi, were you folks still interested in the job at Millbridge Village? We replied to his email and said, yes. He responded later and sent us a work camp or understanding agreement. Asked us to read it. If we had any questions, give him a call. And if we did not have questions, just go ahead and sign the agreement and send it back. So we had about 28 questions we had planned to ask. Didn't need to ask all of them. His work camp or understanding document uh, covered a good bit of them. I think about 10 of them were already answered just by the, the information that he provided. And then we had some additional questions that we wanted to ask him, so we gave him a call. But I'm gonna put all the questions that we ask down below in the description area. And if you wanna copy and paste or read them or check them out or do whatever you wanna do, they may be pertinent to your, your job or you know the job that you're trying to uh, attain. I don't know, but you're welcome to use them. Start date and end date. Yes, uh, we agreed to a period of time from April 15th until the end of uh, October, October 31st. Is there a written job description for the job? Yes, uh, with his document, he outlined the indoor duties that uh, Jill would have to do and the outdoor duties that I would have to do. The expected hours for the campsite and whether it's per person or per couple. Now, neither of those really applied to us. We knew that we were working hourly and we were getting paid an hourly wage and there was no charge for the campsite. And all of our hours were per person. Work hour and schedule over a typical week. Uh, in his document, he also included a sample uh, schedule of how we would work. Is there financial compensation for completing your, uh, your assignment? And that is yes. Uh, he will pay us a dollar per hour for every hour worked at the end of our commitment. Will we receive the same consecutive days off? And that is yes. Jill and I are off Wednesdays and Thursdays. Every week. Same days. What are our specific work duties? Now, like I said before, his, uh, his uh, camp, work camper understanding document was pretty explicit. It told you pretty much everything that you needed to know. So that was a question that was already answered as well. Is there a fee for your work camper site? And again, that is a no and our site is free. Is there a work camper agreement that is signed between both parties? And that is a yes. Uh, at the end of his documentation, after we uh, read it, he asked that we, uh, if we agree to it, to sign and date. So Jill and I both signed this document and we faxed it back to him, stating that we accepted the terms of the, uh, not a contract, it's an agreement. We accepted the terms of the agreement and we were ready to work. Hi, Brian, this is Steve Turtle. Uh, we're excited about coming to work for you at your, uh, your campground, but we had a few questions that we'd like to ask. So if you don't mind, we'd like to ask a few questions before we sign this agreement and send it back. Okay, all right. Thank you, well, here you go. Who will we report to at the campground? Uh, the inside office workers are gonna report to the office manager, and then the outside maintenance guys will be coordinated through me, the owner. How many other work camper couples make up the work camper team? Oh, we've got two other uh, work camping couples, so there'll be three all together. Is there a uniform issued or any type of clothing requirements? Yeah, you'll get two t-shirts when you start. Are all tools and equipment provided? Yes, anything you need, we've got. If we don't have it, you let me know, we'll go pick it up. Is bathroom, shower, cabin cleaning required? No, we have an outside cleaning crew that comes in. What does light maintenance and grounds work entail? Um, they'll be mowing, weed whacking, uh, trimming outside. Do we have any duties while we're off duty? Yes, um, after you clock out, uh, if it is your turn to be on call, we'll ask you to uh, close up the pool and close the game room. What's our role for park rule enforcement? The kids are doing something they're not supposed to. We would expect you to you know, let them know that they need to either be back at their campsite or stop doing whatever it is they're doing. 
Where's our work camper site located and, and how big is it? How big's the site? Well, you'll be in site 48. It's behind the main office. Uh, it can fit up to a 40 foot camper. What's all included in the site compensation? You get a full hookup, sewer, water, electric. There is Wi-Fi if you'd like to use it. Uh, there's a laundry for uh, employees to use, that's free. Can we receive mail and packages at the park? We prefer you not get your uh, mail at the camp, but you can receive packages here. May we use the park recreational facilities on our days off and, and the equipment and stuff like that? Sure. May family members stay with us while they're visiting? Yeah, you can have family members uh, stay and they can stay overnight, but there's a, a charge for extra adults. Do you provide any local discounts? Chamber of Commerce puts out a nice little book of discounts to get you to try some of the local places so that you can refer people to them. Is there a secure storage building for work campers uh, use? No, not really. Can we wash and wax our RV or our car at our site? No, you're not going to be able to do that. Is there anything else that we should know about the job? I think it's a pretty typical work camper position. If you've done it before, you'll be fine. We look forward to having you. At the end of the conversation, Jill and I looked at each other and we sort of nodded and said, OK, I think we could accept this job. That evening, we sat down and signed and sent the agreement. And not long after that, he followed up with an email and says, welcome aboard. So one last question that I think is uh, important to point out. Uh, it did not pertain to this particular job, so we didn't really have to ask it, but it's an important question to ask. If you're volunteering for someone and you're, you're working for just your site, so you're gonna put in so many hours for a site, you need to find out what happens after those hours are completed. Do you get paid or do you not get paid? Do you bank hours? So, that's something that you need to find out going in ahead of time, not afterwards. Well, that's our story for the week. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, click like down below and subscribe if you'd like to hear more stories like this one. New stories every week right here on this YouTube channel on Wednesday. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. Until later, thanks for your time. Bye.